What's up, guys? Tastosis is back here at the GSL Code S. How you doing, Artosis? I am doing fantastically, Tastosis. How are you doing, though? You birthday boy who had a birthday this weekend. I'm 30 now. I'm the dirty 30. Uh, feels a little weird. That's one of those weird age yeah, uh, transitions. I mean, 30 is a lot older than being in your 20s. Uh, yeah. Speaking of that, guys, applications are open for Artosis' new casting partner. <laughs> I think I need someone younger, hotter, and funnier than Tasteless <laughs> to cast beside me. Yeah, my days are done, man. My equity is gone no, at it's, 30. <laughs> I, I mean, I still kind of have an appreciation for you, but I'm just, I, before I was it's just time this, for me to move on. Caster piece of ass. Now Look, I don't just don't think this is going to work out anymore. <laughs> Sorry, you're on to younger, hotter. I casters. only cast with younger men. Like. <laughs> well, I guess my time's done, man. I can always go into directing esports, but I can't <laughs> yeah. be starting it anymore. No, it's done. Um, again, we're back here in Code S. This is the third Code S of the year, the last Code S of the year. And there's a lot on the line here. Still a lot of Protosses. Um, Ed's just been consistent with, I'd say, what the last four Code S's we've done. Sure. Actually, maybe even the last five. was was the. There's been Protosses for a while. For a while. Protoss yeah. has been ruling for a while. We but have, uh, it's, it's, so far, it's not going that way. We have a lot of Terrans getting through to the round of 16 so far. This is true. Yeah. Terrans doing a little bit better. So quit your whining, Twitch chat. Uh, <laughs> everything's fine now. Um, we've also had a lot of new Protosses here. We have one today, Terminator. Not yeah. seen a lot of this guy. Um, as Protoss has really proven itself to be a race that can be played in a lot of different ways. It rewards a lot of different play styles. Indeed, indeed. Uh, whereas, you know, you can't say that quite as heavily for Terran or Zerg. They have Certainly, a I kind of more defined way to play sometimes. But Well, even all the way back in StarCraft 1, there was a right way and a wrong way to play Terran, mm -hmm. it seemed. And you really had to uh, follow that route in order to have some yeah. success. Also, we uh, were just recently in Taiwan. And that was a blast for it all was. the guys that we got to meet in Taiwan. It was a lot of you. Uh, amazing place. Really cool to meet all the guys out there. Uh, and also really cool to see Sen kick ass. He won the entire tournament beating Hyun. That's right. Uh, if you guys didn't catch that, which a lot of people didn't, unfortunately, because there was a lot of events going on that yeah. weekend. <laughs> uh, definitely check out the VODs. It was one of the best finals we that had actually, in all of StarCraft II, really. Dare I say this, that was the best final, that and MVP versus Squirtle. I think we're probably our two best finals. Uh, it was definitely one of, for definitely, sure. Especially for a CBZ, it was, it was pretty sick, so check out those VODs. We're going to go to our interviews now and see what our four players are thinking before their matches. The question on everybody's mind is, will more Terrans advance? So first, we'll be meeting Sulky. So, Sulky, it's been a while. And you never failed to make it to the round of 16. How are you feeling tonight? You know, I couldn't really get good results in Pro League, but uh, I did pretty well in Individual League, so I'm pretty confident going into the round of 16. So you always feel really confident. Last week, SOS. Uh, mentioned that uh, he was worried about you. Uh, he apparently told Sulky he didn't think he was going to make the round 16. Your thoughts? And he says, <laughs> I think OSOS felt that he could make it to the round of 16, so I'm going to tell myself the same thing, and I'll talk some trash uh, after I do that. So recently, Zerg hasn't been looking as hot. So far, we've only had one Zerg advance to the round of 16. What are your thoughts uh, on that? Uh, I think lately some, there's been a lot of Zerg players in bad situations. Uh, so it's really motivated uh, me personally to get uh, the next So you told me that you weren't particularly concerned about this, but, uh, there was one player here that was defeated in the grand final of the Pro League. He says, yeah, I know. I've been kind of disappointed about it. He says, I'm going to get my revenge on it here. So this is the last season of CODES for 2014. Any final words? I think I've got a slim chance of making it to this one. 
네, 알겠습니다. 열심히. But even if my chances are low, I'm still gonna do my best here. 감사합니다. <웃음> 네. <웃음> She says 자, 김민재 선수 만나봤고요. 자, 두 번째 선수 만나보겠습니다. 최근 이 진해호의 기세가 참 무섭죠. Okay, the next player. 이번에 다섯 번의 도전 uh, 끝에 올라온 meet. 선수 진해호 그린윙스의 지장님 만나보겠습니다. 하재상 선수 만나보죠. Terminator. 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. 네, 정말 back. 다섯 번의 도전 끝에 올라왔습니다. Hope he's allowed to kill people in this episode. 어, 5번 so you've had five attempts to go through code A to now you're probably hearing code S. How do you feel? He says, yeah, I know. I feel like I really need to make the next round. So you saw all your teammates make it to the next round. Do you feel any pressure because of that? He says, yeah, I feel. After I saw my teammates make it to round 16, I felt like I ought to be making it there as well. So are you confident? You know, I think I'm the weakest actually in this group. I'm basically the underdog. But I'm going to do my best to show some great games and get the best ups. So you had to practice against all three races because you have every match possible in your group. 대협이랑 진해서 대협이가 알아서 맞춰줄 거라 생각하고 과연 김대 선수가 맞춰주실지 모르겠습니다. 각오 들어볼게요. 오늘 꼭 좋은 경기력으로 보답해 드리도록 하겠습니다. 네, 알겠습니다. 오늘 활약 기대해보겠습니다. I'm gonna do my best to show some great performance. 네, 자 오늘 세 번째로 만나볼 선수 벌써 데뷔 7년 차의 베테랑인데요. 이번 이 통합 포스트 시즌 결승전에서도 이 팀의 기선제압을 성공한 이 활약을 보여주셨죠. 네, 김대호 선수 만나보겠습니다. And he was actually the first player in the Pro League Grand Final. 네, 자 오랜만에 뵙습니다. 지금 굉장히 기분 좋으시죠? 어떠세요? You must be really happy to be here now. Yeah, after we won the Pro League Grand Final. Yeah, after we won the Pro League Grand Final. Yeah, after we won the Pro League Grand Final. Yeah, after we won the Pro League Grand Final. Yeah, after we won the Pro League Grand Final. Yeah, after we won the Pro League Grand Final. Yeah, after we won the Pro League Grand Final. Yeah, after we won the Pro League Grand Final. 같은 조에 지금 김민철 선수가 있습니다. 어떠세요? 마음이 so 좀 편안해지시나요? Next round you're going to be traveling with a really good mindset. 아니요, 민철이 형이 되게 잘 하셔가지고 네. 편하진 않고 또 오늘도 되게 결승전 you know, really 경기만큼 많이 만난다면 not, 힘든 uh, 경기가 될것 같아요. 네, really 그리고 down, 이 앞서 yeah, 하재성 선수가 League, 친하기 때문에 좀 맞춰줄 really 거라 생각한다 <웃음> 이야기를 하셨습니다. 그럴 생각이 있으신가요? So Terminator said you guys were good friends. 어, are you going to go easy on him here today? 예선이나 다른 대회에서 재산이나 만났을 때 제가 많이 이겼었거든요. 네, 그래서 오늘 그래서 오늘은 오늘까지 진짜 미안하지만 오늘까지만 내가 이길게. But I'm very sorry to say tonight I have to kill him now. 자 마지막으로 팬분들께 먼저 각오 한 말씀 말씀해 주시죠. 어 제가 32강 처음 올라왔을 때 32강에서 바로 떨어졌었는데 이번에는 32강 꼭 뚫고 올라가서 16강 도지명시에서 뵙도록 하겠습니다. 네 알겠습니다. 그 상승세 그대로 이어갈 수 있을지 지켜보도록 하겠습니다. 오늘 활약 기대하겠습니다. 네. 자 오늘의 디조의 마지막 선수 만나봐야겠죠. 이 테란이 잘 나갈 때나 힘들 때나 항상 한결같이 활약을 보여주셨던 테란의 자존심입니다. 정우영 선수 만나보겠습니다. 안녕하세요. 네. 소개해도 말씀을 드렸듯이 꾸준히 활약을 보여주셨습니다. 이번 시즌 3 소감이 어떠세요? 뭐 코데스는 항상 올라왔기 때문에. So you've been showing some great turn play. How are you feeling? 감사합니다. 그럼 긴장되지 않으세요? Because you know I'm feeling the same, not too different. 뭐네 여타 다른 대회와 똑같아요. Pretty much always make it past around the 32. 네 그런데 이번 시즌에 테란의 활약이 두드러지고 있습니다. 지금 이 테란의 분위기에서 어떻게 생각하세요? Yes, this season especially. Uh, they've already been having some great results. Uh, what are your thoughts on that as a Terran player? I think the payoff is finally here since we've already had a hard time before. So you're confident going to the next round? I'm confident going to the next round.
네, 첫 세트 레프로 드스니까 다시 시작이겠네요. 아, even more confidence. 자, 이번 시즌 그럼 각오까지 들어보겠습니다. Everything's gonna pan out just as I want here tonight. Any final words? 알겠습니다. 네, 조지명 때 활약 저희도 기대하고 있는데요. 꼭 올라갈 수 있는지 기대하도록 하겠습니다. 오늘 여기 활약 기대하겠습니다. 네, 감사합니다. 네. He also said our toast is a bias caster. I was really caught off guard by that part, but everything else, your standard esports interview. Ah, that's standard as well. <laughs> All right, guys, this is an event that we have down here at the GSL studio in Gangnam for Code S. It's the coin system. You can earn GSL coins by coming down to the studio. Like, for instance, if you show up, you get a coin. If you make a cheerful that says, our toast is so handsome, Tasteless still looks pretty good even though he's 30, <laughs> you'll probably get on camera. And if you get on camera, you just trade in your sign, you get two coins. Okay, so that's, you gotta make a good cheerful though. And I'm, I'm actually giving you cheats. This is how you do it. You write, you write something nice about our toast, something, you know, mild to nice about Tasteless. Something passing for Tasteless. Yeah, uh, you're gonna most likely get that on camera. And you can trade in those coins uh, for gifts, so. Definitely something you might want to check out. You know, if you're sitting there at home watching, get on the subway and come on down. It's only going to cost you like two bucks. Yeah, an entry here is free. And if free. you get two coins, that's probably worth at least two bucks. At least, probably even more. The GSL currency is, uh, the exchange rate's quite high these days. It's so. one of the rarest currencies. I mean, it's not worth as much as the kroner, but it's <laughs> worth a lot. All right. Why are you so funny today? I'm just in a great mood, man. And hey, we were told the story bad. about I think we might have told this on air, but we went to Sweden our first time, and we thought we had brought enough money, and we ended up, it was so expensive in Sweden, we spent all the money that we brought in one dinner yeah. in, a, in a Chinese restaurant. <laughs> it was pretty bad. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't know what is, uh, there's anything quite as strong as a Swedish Well, program. we got to get some cheerfuls on, on camera so we can earn some coins for next time we go to Sweden. That's what we need to do, yes. Uh, we have Sulky at Terminator Stats at Young today. Yep. This is one of these fun days where we have all three races. Yeah. So no matter what you play in StarCraft 2 today, you could definitely That's not right. only be entertained but learn it's, as well. It's a great day. Who do you think out of these four players gets through Tasis? Who are your two Sulky picks? Stats. Sulky Stats. I think but that that is not a bad choice at all. I, I feel like I maybe I'm not giving Byung enough credit, but I, I feel like Byung is one of these players in my mind I always skip over. As, I guess yeah. I, I, I'm so much... He does is good to um, a certain level and then not further. Yeah, he fizzles out. Um, but, you know, Young has been around consistently for a while, so maybe I'm counting him out too quick. Yeah. It's a it's a hard one for me, i got to tell you, Tasteless. Um, I think Terminator has, like, very little chance of coming out of here. I think Stats has a very high chance of coming out, especially off of his fresh win against Sulky in the Pro League Finals. And uh, Yeah, well, he's got to be uh, on yeah. fire since that, you know? And even against Beyong, I'm like, well, Stats definitely has potential to beat you, so... Uh, I think Stats is one of those Protosses that doesn't get as much recognition as he should, even though he does get... Even though his credits. stats are quite nice. Yeah. <laughs> what? Oh, because oh. his name is Sta Oh, look, you think anything's funny, Tasteless. I've known you for too long, man. You're a very punny guy. Wow. Yeah. You better terminate that line of humor, Tasteless. Don't even get me started on the Terminator jokes. We haven't talked about Terminator the movie in a while. Yeah. And we might have some downtime in this oh. game. He plays with blank keycaps. Does he really? Yeah. I didn't get a shot of that. Uh, That's one of these new things you can do at all these uh, different nice keyboard vendors. You can get blank keycaps if you want. But every now and then I glance down at my keyboard, don't you? Like, just yeah, every course. now and then. The only way I, I didn't even know I did until I tried playing StarCraft with the lights out a few years ago, like, just yeah. a completely dark room, and I was like, oh, every now and then I actually peek well, down there. It's, I think it's not even that you don't know where the keys are, it's just something about where your hand's at and yeah. have that Make sure it's in the right reminder. place. It's like, it's kind of like you don't need game sound in StarCraft, but really it helps out way too much yeah, to yeah. not have it, you know? Um, well, let's see how Terminator does here today. He is a team captain, um, so obviously he's got to be very talented, but we certainly haven't seen anywhere near as much of Terminator compared no. to the other three players I mean, that we have here in this group. He pops up some from time to time, and obviously he's on Jyn Air, so that's a fantastic team. He's got really great practice partners. Uh, is this enough to beat Sulky? It's an interesting question, Taste. I'm glad you asked, and I'm not sure that I have uh, the answer for that. I. I feel like Sulky definitely the favorite here uh, by a pretty pretty sizable margin. We are almost into our game now. Sulky against Terminator on the map Foxtrot Labs. Oh, sick. I'm so glad we're starting on Foxtrot. I need to see more games in this map. We have not seen a lot of Foxtrot. That is not a map that these guys pick. This is uh, one of the weirdest the, maps, man. This is their default starting map. Normally, um, 
We don't see as much Foxtrot simply because the way the system's set up here, Loser uh, picks the next map, and this, this just is, has not been a popular map. Uh, I think it's the, the most I think it's because thumbs it's so down new. Map. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're correct on that. I think it's the most thumbs down map. It is right now, for sure. Well, uh, excited to see Tasteless. PVZ here, of course, a lot of this will be based on spawning spots. Uh, will it be yeah. top left, bottom right, or will it be bottom left, top right? Uh, very different games play out from those. Not as different as, let's say, Waystation, but just the shape of your expansions, like where you can take your third and fourth, uh, changes pretty dramatically between the two. There's a lot, um, a lot to keep in mind. It doesn't surprise me we haven't seen more maps like that here um, being picked as a default map. I think most of these guys, they, if you're in Code S, you play so much StarCraft, you're probably just going to go with what you're most comfortable with. Yeah. Um, well, no one's going to pick Foxtrot Labs. The fact that Shine did it the other day tells me that map is probably not going to be picked unless someone figures out some really imbalanced strat on it. <laughs> some serious cheese. All right, guys, game number one here. Soul Key against Terminator is ready to go. Over here in the upper right, one of the most... SK Telecom T1 Soul Key. One of the most accomplished uh, Zerg players of all time, Sulky. Yeah, definitely still one of the best. <laughs> I forgot. In the bottom <laughs> left, why are you laughing? In the bottom left, we have our Protoss player. He is. Gene Air Green Wings Terminator. Because that's too long. That's too long to have the camera on Sulky. <laughs> that's why. Yeah. There's Terminator. He's looking at the at the uh, screen. Still looking at the screen. <laughs> There's that screen there. It's not. Oh, he looked. Oh, he looked over there. He looked at his supply. Okay. <laughs> All right. Down on the mini map. Nope. Nothing there yet. There we go. All right. Tasteless. Here we are. Bottom left, top right. I personally far prefer uh, these spots rather yeah. than top left, bottom right. I feel like it's uh, a little bit more controllable area. You know, there's a ramp that goes up in your natural. Yeah. There's a couple destructible rocks as well, but. I feel like it's easier to wall, and I like the location of the potential third down this ramp. What are you thinking about the uh, quick gateway here? Uh, you know, I don't think anything special is going to come of it. I think he's just kind of sent up, up that. Yeah, like notice he got his second pylon and no gas. So that tells us that, uh, you know, maybe he'll make like a zealot to pressure. Maybe he's afraid of an early pool, so he does mix those in. Um, yeah, he's actually done that more than most players, yeah. now that I think about it. Yeah, he, he's certainly, he's like one of the best Zergs for many reasons. One of which is he will mix in like a crazy all-in cheese. Uh, just early pulls and like makes 18 lings and stuff off him. But, uh, you know, the the more I think about the gateway, I don't think there's a definitive answer yet for what, how this map leans balance-wise. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I've heard... Protoss to say that they feel it's pretty good for Zerg. You know, it's uh, definitely some areas where Zerg can move around quite a bit, and Stormhost uh, maybe not as good here because there's like there are a lot of paths and it's hard to cover them all. But it's very thin as well. Uh, some of these ramps. So I've heard a lot of people. I would say more than saying it's Zerg favorite. Say that it's uh, it's good for force fields. So he might be saying, you know, what, I'm going to use a slightly safer opening and use that to try to get into the area of the game where I feel favored. I think I think what you're saying is absolutely accurate. Um, I think it's also just a, a default safety mechanism against uh, all-ins from Sol We've seen Sulky four pull a lot, or yeah. six pull a lot, excuse me. Like, he's making eight lings right now. And uh, one thing you got to remember is on Foxtrot, the ramp that goes up to your natural is really far away. Uh, from the natural, and then there's also those rocks. So to make these lings, he has a lot of harassment potential. So the quicker gateway may be something that really pays off for him here. I do like the gas steal here. I think this is a great way to get a better idea of what your opponent has. Mm. You see the zealot now attacking, you know um, exactly which gas he's uh, been taking. Because this is when a uh, burden for Zerg early on against Protoss is really, um, it's you don't always know what they're attacking at or where they're going, but yeah. in this case, you at least get to see, okay, he had to make a Zealot. Um, you can obviously check down here with the legs and see, okay, he's taking a gas over here, uh, which you probably would not be able to get in uh, and check as easily in the main, so. Ooh, Tasteless, this looks pretty good for Sulky. He's got 16 lings out. Speed is going to finish pretty soon here, and the wall -in isn't done. If he's got up here right before that wall -in, oh, God, it looks like they're going to. This oh, is, God. This is 
a lot like these games that you play on the ladder where you're like, okay, well, now I know how to stop that, but this is not what you're supposed to be happening in a match on TV, yeah. you know? He's taking it very seriously, though, pulling all of these probes at the Ooh. moment. Sulky actually getting quite a few probe kills with this. He's going to just try to go into the main here. This is a smart move because mm. Link Speed just now finishes. Now he pulled a lot of Lings outside, and now he sends those in over here. And this could snowball very quickly here for uh, uh, the Protoss. I mean, it's going to be very difficult for to uh, keep everything safe here. Especially with only having one Nexus cannon available. They can go That's from right. whichever Nexus they want to go to. And in fact, see a wall attempt to be made? Oh man, he's going to get both these Stalkers, isn't he, Tasteless? Oh, maybe not get the second one, actually. Some nice probe micro there from Terminator. In the meantime, we do have more Lings trying to come in here. He hasn't been able to close up that wall quite yet. Uh, really nice play here. A dozen more Lings, by the way, being made. The Stalker does go down. He darts back out now with the Lings. This is really bad here for the Protoss. This is, uh, mm -hmm. this might just end. Um, yeah, this is rough. I gotta He's say, barely uh, able to mine. Pretty uh, disappointing showing here for Terminator, unfortunately. Mm. You know? Well, Sulky seems to be abusing uh, some pieces of the map that are a little bit harder. Like, it is harder to get that uh, wall in up oh very quickly. Oh, my God. Oh, that's gonna be it. You don't come back from this. With both those Stalkers dead, oh, God, the Mothership Core there. That means this Nexus is dead. Oh my god. Oh. Okay, so he's going to get this expansion. Also keep in mind, the other gates are down here on the low ground, so he's going to lose production from there. Mm -hmm. um, oh my god. Okay, that's going to be a GG. Wow, Sulky slapping Terminator down here in game one. Wow. Wow. Well, that's, uh, that's a strong victory right there, Tasis. Uh, Terminator just didn't get the wall up in time, you know, that's something sure. Sure, man. That's one of the worst ways to start out a tournament, yeah. just for Terminators, to lose a game like that, because that looked like a game where there was just holes in the build order, you know? You know, it's kind of funny, because Sulky made, like, six or eight links right off while he was upgrading speed, and sent them immediately across the map, because he needed to pull units back from the wall. The wall almost got up. It's actually kind of funny. If the wall had gotten up with the Zot That would have been a waste of links. Yeah, the links. I mean, maybe they break through, maybe he goes all in there, but uh, more likely Terminator holds that and suddenly Sulky spent a lot of money that would have been worthless. So it was smart timings by Sulky. He drone scouted. He knew how much time he basically had to get down there and stop the wall from going up all the way. So well played by Sulky. I, uh, I'm a little bit worried here, Artosis, for Terminator's well-being in this group. Yeah, no, I don't. This is, I think he, I'm, I'm when already, he said I'm he's an underdog. He's out. Yeah. yeah. He's, that's map another choice actually map. for Terminator is Deadwing. Mm. There's another map that's not popular. You know what? I think it's becoming more popular. I think it's going to end up very popular for Protoss against Zerg specifically. Okay. Um, Just because of the way it's shaped? Well, you know, it's like free four bases. Like pretty darn free. Hard to break with anything. Whereas a lot of maps right now, like, uh, you know, we're seeing a lot of Zerg timing attacks on third bases. But the fact that you can get four kind of free is pretty awesome for Protoss. And, uh, you know, if your vertical spawns, it's pretty easy to keep the pressure on, on Zerg. There's a lot of ways you can walk. You know, there's some different paths. And, you know, I, I feel like it's just, it's kind of like how Protoss has chose Ultra Zeme and Frost a lot. Okay. Kind of. But even more so. Well, let's see if Terminator can come up with something here. He 